Hello everyone, this is Ali from Arts Communication. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install and set up your TP-Link wireless and end router 300 Mbps. This is a model number exactly TLWR481N. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up. As you see, this router is beautiful looking router, white in color. Okay, now I'm gonna connect this one first. I will put this cable, one cable here and this cable. I will put at one of my notebook as you see I have here and this cable is connect from my modem so I will connect this one here and after that this I connect with the power the adapter power connector And after that, I have to push the power button. And when I will push the power button, the light should blink. As you see, I don't know you can see or not, but the lights are blinking in this. Okay, the power light is on. The other is not doing nothing here. The port 4 is connected, that's why it's blinking, and internet is blinking. Okay, now if your notebook is our PC is connected via Wi-Fi to internet, disconnect that one. As you see, I disconnect and I put the CD inside for setting. And now we have to work at the PC. Could be desktop and laptop, anywhere you want, you can do the same. what we need to do we have to go to my computer at windows 8 or windows 7 the process will be same you have to click on the cd drive where you put the cd or dvd click that one and you have to click auto run and after that you will see so many models of router available you have to choose your model for example my model is tlwr841nd and in this I have two options one is easy setup assistant another is user guide click easy setup assistant as you see it is starting now the process all you need to do is just click yes okay here we are the setup is begin as you see welcome to tp link easy setup assistant choose your language here as you want Spanish English French Italian after that you have to click here start and you have to connect your router at this moment you can connect before or you can connect at this point doesn't matter after that click next and as you see this should blink after that click next and it's checking network adapter and check network status we have to wait until the checking is done is a verification process The first one is perfect network adapter enable and now it's checking the internet connection. It asks me some permission allow access to the internet firewall click access allow and as you see is done. That means all is working fine all you need to do click next. If you are using a broadband connection choose the third one. If you have another type of connection choose another option you have to read those. Click this one after that click next and this is username i'm going to change this one i will put ad min admin and password also i will change i will put ad min admin repeat the password one more time ad min admin after that i have to click next and this name you should be careful this will be your ssid name that means your wireless name put as you want or leave as it is this is tp link d1f6f0 click next after that 
here is security option of your Wi-Fi this means this will be the password of your Wi-Fi you can choose the password as they given this one or you can write the password as you want to give for example I'm going to change this one and I will choose the first option most secure option WPA2 PKS PSK and I will put the password Q W E R T Y after that I will click next and I have to click next for save this change click ok they will make a text document at your desktop with all the password and another things so you will not lose those information now it is configuring router and verifying router setting we have to wait till it is done and at the corner as you see the internet is coming and going now because it's doing all the setting inside first one is done successfully configured router okay after finishing the setup is bring me again to the main menu and as you see at the corner let me show you fine I have full network that means I'm connected to the internet I can show you how I can click Google Chrome and as you see I'm connected to the Google now what I need to do I will disconnect the LAN cable this is my new Wi-Fi as I set up now this is TP link D D1 F6 F0 I want to connect with this one and want to check is working or not okay now I'm gonna put the password that was Q W E R T Y click next yes turning sharing center and as you see I'm connected now via TP link my new Wi-Fi I will exit this menu yes and as you see I have full network now check is working or not click Google Chrome and as you see I'm connected with the Google so this is all my friend if you like this video please do subscribe if you have any question leave me as a comment I will try to answer you as much fast as possible as always for more information go to the IRS communication www.irscommunication if you face any sort of difficulty doing installation by the CD check my next video I'm going to show how you can do this installation by manually and more easy process. Thank you again. Good night. Ciao.